And Linus submitted that anagram of small isn't ideal, which isn't a great anagram for a particle physicist. Uh, now, second up, we have our FameLab UK winner, Ema Maguire. Now, Ema's a speech and language therapist uh, studying for a master's in clinical anatomy at Queen's University in Belfast. But she says she loves shouting random science facts at people and wants to be a stand-up scientist. Although, I hope she realizes there is more to being a stand-up scientist than simply shouting things like, about 65 billion neutrinos are going through your fingernails every second, which is true, by the way. Now, clearly, Ema is doing something right, uh, because judging by Twitter, the entirety of Northern Ireland is behind her. They went bonkers when she won the UK final. They went doolally again yesterday when she came through the semi-finals. And my favorite was somebody who tweeted, making sure they copied in the BBC, and telling them to bring back their TV science show, Tomorrow's World, just so that Ema can host it. <laughs> Stranger things have happened. A former fame labber from the very first fame lab now presents The Sky at Night, which is one of the longest running science programs in the world. So, today, International Fame Lab, tomorrow, Tomorrow's World. Who knows what the future holds for the UK fame lab champion, Ema Maguire. The goal of life is the survival of our DNA. Without reproduction, humankind would be extinct. However, we humans are a picky species. We want the best possible offspring with the best possible mate. Therefore, we need a risk-free way of previewing our potential partners without giving them access to our precious genes. Nature's solution, flirting. Let's set the scene. I'm on the dance floor, channeling Beyonce, when our eyes lock across a crowded room. We have just initiated the age-old flirting technique, the copulatory gaze. This intimate eye contact ignites an animalistic part of the human brain, giving us two choices, approach or retreat. Obviously, you like what you see, and I watch as you move towards me. Are you attractive? Does it matter? Studies show that good flirting is more important than good looks. Yes. <laughs> and don't worry too much about your chat offline. Flirting is only 7% words. Our true feelings seep out through our body language. Women are subtle. A hair flick here, a coy laugh there. <laughs> All to appear more feminine and youthful. Signs of estrogen and fertility. Men, on the other hand, are as subtle as a brick. They engage in large testosterone fueled movements, all to show they can protect and provide for any future family. Now, all the while we've been flirting, my brain has been subconsciously calculating our compatibility. Yep, leave your wingman at home. The brain is the ultimate matchmaker. And guess what? We're a match. The emotional headquarters of my brain, the limbic system, bursts into action. <laughs> it gets turned on. <sighs> it releases the hormones adrenaline and noradrenaline, causing a series of side effects, like increased heart rate and dilated pupils. This hormonal hurricane can even cause tunnel vision. So when I say I only have eyes for you, I'm not being romantic. I'm being scientifically attractive. <laughs> the fire you've started in my limbic system quickly ignites its next door neighbor, my passionate pleasure center, the nucleus accumbens. It pumps me full of the feel-good chemical, dopamine. It's the same chemical released by cocaine, giving me a natural high. No wonder we love to flirt. Flirting is the ultimate interview. If you're successful, you might just be the one that I reproduce with. We come from a long line of skilled flirters. Without them, the human race would be extinct. So go out there and flirt. Humanity depends on it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I love this T-shirt. Okay, Ima, direct your copulatory gaze and flirty body language at our, at our judges, please. Thank you. Um, is in this situation, is alcohol helpful or a hindrance <laughs> in flirting? Well, uh, in <laughs> when we're talking about both sides, so flirting in general, does it help or Well, hinder? I certainly find that it helps. No, but, okay, yeah. um, 
because the way alcohol works, it's to lower our inhibitions, so your natural intentions come out more. So if you're naturally a shy person and you're flirting with someone and there isn't any alcohol there, you might be more into yourself, your body language might be more negative and they might subconsciously pick up on that and think they're not that attracted to me, whereas it's just their nerves. But everyone gets a bit looser with a little bit of alcohol, so you might start to be a lot more mm -hmm. out there and you might um, really show them that you're very, very interested. Um, so I would say alcohol uh, helps. Unless Not that I'm promoting it. Gaze, you get so cross <laughs> exactly, yeah. gazes like that. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Dan, how do you react to flirting? Do you uh, analyse the person? Do you that depends. Uh, how does that work as a human? <laughs> 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 um, well, after reading up on it, I can certainly recognise when people are... Not that it happens a lot. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I can now recognise when maybe people are flirting with each other. Yeah. It seems a lot more obvious to me. And if people are doing things and they might not notice that they're being very obvious, you know, with the men trying to look bigger and trying to look very, very strong and masculine, you can immediately tell. Mm -hmm. Or whenever a girl is being very giggly and, you know, they're flirting. But I have not yet experienced it with myself, unfortunately. But oh. <laughs> What caused you to choose this particular topic? And um, what particular aspect of science are you really trying to illustrate by choosing this topic? Well, choosing this topic, um, I chose flirting because I am really, really interested in science that's in the everyday that everyone can relate to, and everyone can relate to flirting. Either you do it quite a lot. There's something like people admit that they flirt um, 90% 90 pr 90 of the time in one week, so everyone does it. Um, and I think human behaviours are very, very interest to me, interesting to me. And the reason I did um, flirting in particular was because in my master's, which is anatomy, I'm doing um, a module in evolution. So any everyday behaviour that I can kind of tie to evolution um, and then let people know about it and let people know the reason we're, not, we're doing flirting, it's not complete random. It has a very strong scientific basis. Um, and I really like to bring um, science that's a wee bit more humorous, so, so even people, if they're not scientists, can enjoy it, and they can think, you know, maybe I should get into science because it's not dull, and it is exciting, and it is something that we all do. So that's the reason I chose it. Is there any evidence of people, you know, you can be colour blind, can you be flirt blind? <laughs> Utterly unaware of when you're being flirted with. Do you think loads of people are flirting with you and you're not noticing? Uh, no. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> Yes, but <laughs> I wasn't thinking about it now. I was thinking okay. more about my teenage years, you know. The <laughs> teenage years? Yeah. Um, yeah. So it can be like that. Um, there's some people who just aren't as good as picking up things subconsciously. And a lot of the time, people who don't pick up when people are flirting with them are people who are poor at flirting themselves. Not, not talking about you, but no. if someone isn't very good at flirting, it's because they don't know the ways to subconsciously do it. They might not know about the body language and um, the chemicals in their brain whenever they're firing. They might not be going off as much. So whenever someone's doing it to them, they just aren't able to recognize it. But it's just another... It's, it's like people who are good at reading emotions. Some people are and some people aren't. It okay. just depends on the person. I'm not very good, but what I can... I am good at reading a clock, though. So we have to say one more time, please, for <laughs> Eamon Maguire. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>